YouTubers, it's Mike and Brian again. <laughs> We've Stop. Got Stop. YouTubers, it's Mike and Brian with you. We've got the final episode of the Trail Finder here. We've got the new graphics on it, and we've got some run videos for you, so we'll take a look at that and see what you think. So well, we're back with you. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed those videos. Um, we wanted to show you the graphics that we did. Uh, these graphics are uh, mimicking the 1980s um, original body graphics. Um, they're kind of a little different, but uh, fairly simple to do. Um, we just went with black, so it would uh, look good with the yellow. And then we've got our bed liner in there too, so I think that kind of looks nice too. But uh, anyway, that's that's the body and and that's it. We want to talk about some of the pros and cons that we've had with this truck. Um, a lot of people have been wondering as far as the quality and and the abilities of the vehicle. Um, some good, some bad. Uh, some of the things that we've experienced um, was the first thing was we changed the gears to a 48 pitch zoom in on that just to make it uh, a little quieter and give us a little better um, gear options you can see the, the pinion there this is a smaller pinion gear than the regular 32 pitch gears um, in doing this, uh, one of the purposes was to make it quieter, however, um, it's extremely quiet when we have the body off. However, when the body's on, the body kind of resonates um, the sound, so it kind of sounds a little louder than it actually is in the camera, which is 
kind of weird, but uh, we're going to try and rectify that somehow with maybe some sound deadening. But um, some of the things that we have run into with this vehicle that right off the bat you have to address is the drive lines. Um, the stock drive lines, I'm going to zoom in on this one here. The stock drive lines are, are pretty much uh, garbage. Yeah, they're they don't uh, they don't do the truck justice. Um, we broke those almost instantaneously. Uh, this right here is uh, a solid steel drive shaft, and so far it's working very nicely. Um, we I don't think we'll break this at all. But uh, you can see that the construction of that's much, much nicer. Um, the next thing we did up here, this is, this is a, uh, this shaft right here is a stock um, AX10 axle or drive shaft. And we're just kind of trying this to see how well that holds up versus the stock uh, RC four wheel drive drive shaft. So far, this is working uh, and holding up very nice. We're probably going to replace this with the steel one, but we wanted to try this just to see mm -hmm. what. Besides, we do. broke the stock key, so we had nothing else to use, so we used that. Yeah, we go ahead and zoom out. Yeah, we broke uh, both drive lines um, fairly quickly, so th those two things pretty much have to be replaced right away. Um, the next thing that uh, we had problems with was the ring and pinion uh, on the front um, axle. The pinion gear and the ring gear on those that differential are fairly soft metal, so it's starting to show some wear, um, I think kind of prematurely, but uh, um, we're probably going to need to replace those. We It started to skip so we tightened the gear mesh up by shimming the pinion in here but uh, and it seems to be working fine now but I'm thinking that those are probably going to uh, strip out here in the near future um, the other thing we did was we um, replaced the stock shocks with some stock axial uh, SCX-10 shocks. Um, that gave us a little better ride height and raised up the vehicle to give us uh, a little more ground clearance. Um, these springs, um, well, these bottom springs, we were we felt a little bit too stiff so we went with reds, the super soft yeah. axial springs in the back which gives us a little more um, articulation uh, otherwise the truck is a little bit stiff uh, so we did that and then uh, everything else seems to be working real well the two-speed tranny having no problems with it it's working good yeah it's nice and smooth yeah um, the steering we we got worked out nice it seems to be working good uh, and then of course We've run, we're running the 1.9 tires, uh, which puts a little more stress on everything. Um, if you're one, running the 1.5s, you might not have some of the problems with the drive axles, but they're so soft and they're so brittle that you're probably going to break them. Uh, and we like the 1.9s. We're running them with the SCX-10s, so uh, it pretty much gets over most of the things that those trucks do. So in any event, that's uh, what we've chosen to go with. So, um, so far the truck's been um, real fun to drive and, and work on. Um, you got anything? Um, for just a leaf spring truck, it's pretty damn good on the trails. But, well, those 1.9s, no way, no way you can get through stuff. Right, with the 1.5s you're just kind of wasting your time unless you're going to stay on the asphalt or a hard surface. Yeah. They're, they're just too little and this bottom transfer case will get hung up on 
pretty much everything if you if you don't have some ground clearance. So and that thing has a pretty high. It's in there, like the that's a lot of ground clearance, right? Yeah, like the XX tens, the ground clearance is not very good. So like if you're going over a tree trunk, that thing will go right over it. XX ten, the middle will just yeah, and then you're stuck. It hangs up, yeah. So anyway, um, that's the trail finder for now. We may be doing a few other little options and modifications to it, maybe putting some lights on it. But uh, for now, it's been uh, a real good car, and uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing us drive it uh, again soon.